Hola familia, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for joining in today. As you guys can see for the title, today I am doing part three or part four. I think it's part four. I can't remember. You'll see it on the title of uh, some pan in my collection. As you guys know, I have been sharing with you guys some pan that I have been sharing or have been hitting, I should say, throughout my project pans are just naturally using up my makeup. I have been quietly trying to hit 101 pans. There's this challenge going around for 101 pans and I think it's been over a year at this point. I still have yet to hit it, but I'm quietly seeing how many pans I'll hit. I'll let you guys know at the end where I stand with the pans that I will share with you guys today. So that's why you're here, to see some pans, some juicy, some nice, shiny, some good looking pans from some of my products. So I know that's what you're waiting for, so let's just get right into it. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. My name is Alejandra, I'm a nice shadow enthusiast with a dash of fried Japan. If that is something that interests you, subscribe, join us. And now let's get on with some nice shiny pans. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna share with you guys some pans. Some of these I have hit pan a while back and just never shared in the series. Not everything in here is necessarily eyeshadow, which makes me happy because I like to show you guys a diverse amount of products that I hit pan on that isn't just eyeshadows from pan, those are eyeshadows. So let's get right into it. All right, let's start off with my newest pan, which came out of these singles in here. I depotted quite a few singles out here. I have Too Faced, Estee Lauder, Maybelline, Makeup Forever. So I have it in here, and this is a pan I already shared with you guys before, but this is my newest pan. This is from the Too Faced Tickled Peach palettes the little one the mini ones this was gifted to me by Drea and this is the shade peach spice um, if you follow my shop my stash series or any yeah I think only the shop my stash series is where I shared it I made a nine pan yeah a nine pan Z palette per season and I shared with you guys my summer one and I was really close of hitting pan on this one and I love that. I just like to pull singles to just help me out here and there when I'm bored on Sundays when I completely disconnect from any social media. I like to play around with that palette and I was able to hit pan. So now this Z palette has one and two pans which makes me happy. Some of these are close to hitting pan but I haven't gotten there yet but little by little I'll be putting things in. So this is the first one. Up next is one that I hit a while back and never shared with you guys. This is the Laura Mercier. I can't remember what palette this is, but this was like her very first palette she came out with. And I hit pan on Vanilla Nuts. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Oh, there she is. Pretty old shiny thing. She's gorgeous. This was a rather easy one to hit pan on, which gives me hope with the rest of these. Hopefully, I'll be able to re-roll this into a project and um, be able to hit pan on another one. So this is the second one I want to share with you guys. Up next is the recent one. This is my Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. This was something that I hit pan on rather easy, which is right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the shade Amazon, which gives me hope that I can hit pan on the rest of these. Hitting pan Pan is really easy for a lot of things. Finishing up products is a whole different bowl game. So who knows how long it'll take me to finish these off, but at least I know I can hit pan by using these up naturally as well. So next one up that has pan. Up next is a huge palette, you guys. I forgot to share with you guys. I hit pan on my very few first months of pan those eyeshadows. This is the Lucid Dreams eyeshadow palette. This is an indie brand that I don't hear many people talk about. I don't even know if they're in business still. Uh, they are black owned. And there you can see the pan. Look how huge this thing is. This is ridiculously huge. These are as big as JD Glow singles or Give Me Glow singles so or palettes. Just that this is rather big. So I did hit pan on that shade right there. And it wasn't too bad. I have I have faith that I can hit pan on a lot more of these. I just have to remember to pull these out because they are rather big and they are heavy. They are a heavy palette, but yeah. Hit pan on this one. A bronzer I hit pan on this year, you guys. This is the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in Bronze. 
this is a very very nice penny and look at that one mm -hmm. it's kind of like a half dollar sort of <laughs> this was a great pan I'm so happy that I was able to hit pan on this because a lot of the products that I'm going to share with you guys now or even the pans that I have shared with you guys in the past some of them are completely used up and no longer have pan in them they're just finished up this is one of those products I have a feeling will be finished up and gone so I'm happy that I was able to at least show it to you guys there because I've already finished up two bronzers this year and this is the third one I hit pan on right now I'm just taking it easy with my bronzers and just playing around playing around enjoying what I got for the summer because I know that some once the summer's gone I can't use certain bronzers so I'm just playing and I enjoy just playing sometimes up next is another one these I know a lot of you guys have asked me what is my oldest palettes at this point in time I believe these are my oldest palettes the ones that i have like this from coastal scents i got these back in 20 something 2012 20 something uh this is the fall festival and this was in a project pan the pan those eyeshadows and i hit pan on two i hit pan on this shade right here called new penny as well as the brow bone shade called uh chimus nude i believe it's called it's was easy this one was a lot harder to hit pan on this one was because it's a matte so I at least have pan on this one considering it's one of my oldest palettes it probably it's my second oldest probably and it still works fine I still enjoy it I feel like the older makeup always lasts longer than the newer makeup so I'm happy that I have pan on these because these needed to be shown more love a color tattoo this is so exciting you guys I went through all of my color tattoos this past year and I threw out all the ones that I knew I didn't care to pan that's my motto not so much what gives me joy is am I gonna find fun and excitement and I'm gonna be happy with reaching for something to completely pan it or use it up and a lot of my uh, color tattoos I was not feeling that way I only kept a handful of them and this is one of them this is nude pink this was a limited edition shade and it is the dupe for uh, soft oak no not soft oak or painter leaf from Mac so you guys I've hit a nice pan in there you guys can clearly see that I am wearing this today I don't use this necessarily every single day but I use it quite a bit so a lot of it's gone and I'm hoping to be able to finish this up rather soon because I have so I have backups of this I already finished one of these this is my second one I'll finish and then I think I have like three more to go which I'm not upset about because I don't mind using these a lot often so this is another one that I got paint on or glass whatever you want to call it a palette that I have been trying to hit pan for since I've got it and I've never really had the opportunity or reach for it as much as I should but I was able to hit pan on a shadow this year and this is the shade Trixie can you see that I don't know I don't know if you guys can see that pan it is there and I'm very excited that I was able to hit pan on at least one shade in here. My goal is to continue to try to hit more pan in this palette just because I want to show it more love. It still works perfectly fine. I still enjoy this color story. This was, and this is why I love it even more, is because this is the palette that reminded me how much I love color. How much I enjoy color, how much I suppress that because it wasn't the thing um you I didn't want to stick out like a sore thumb and then after I got this palette and saw how much I enjoyed it I could care less and I just let my wild child colorful end just bloom not that I hate my neutral side because I still love as you guys can see I'm still doing neutrals I still love my neutrals but I do love my color as well which is a little bit difficult on the bank account but <laughs> because I love it all um, but I do I'm happy that I like both sides and it's easy for me to wear both sides without feeling self-conscious and Rocking it out because this palette made me do that and I love this palette for that an older palette that I forgot to share with you guys that I hit pan on as well and This was one of the first uh, Pan those eyeshadows that I hit pan on this is a violet Voss holy grail palette This I still enjoy the formula of no joke uh, And they're rather easy to hit pan on I hit pan on so jelly again I want to hit pan on more shades in here this is a neutral shade as you guys know a neutral palette I should say so you guys know eventually I will be going back to the workforce so I need these kinds of palettes in my armor what do you call it in my reservoir in my gallery I don't know what you want to call it I'm gonna need these and I don't want to get rid of them all and then having to repurchase a bunch more so I it's still working great it's still perfectly fine and I do want to hit more pan on some of these because this is used. It's just not fully abused as I want it to be. 
This palette, you guys, I hit another pan in this one. This is the Too Faced Love Flush. They recently came out with new singles of these, uh, but they're not the same exact shades. I actually hit a pan on the Love Hangover, the infamous Love Hangover that everyone really likes and enjoy. This was a total shock for me because I didn't think I was going to hit this kind of pan on here. I thought it was just going to be side pan and be done with it. But I did hit side pan and then it went all the way down. So I have another pan in here. Hopefully this will be completely used up at some point or another, but I'm happy that I have had more progress in this palette. Last but not least, it's one of my newer palettes that I have truly loved. I hesitated and I waited a very long time to purchase this palette, but it for me, it is worth it because I, I, first of all, I got it for a very, very inexpensive price. It was, I didn't pay full price for this. So for me, it was even worth it more to have this palette. So I actually hit pan on the, uh, this is gonna be hard. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna try not to blind you guys. I hit pan on Basic Trot in the Nikki Tutorials palette. Can you guys see that pan? I'm sure you guys can see it right there, you guys. Let's see my pinky, can my pinky do it? Right in that shade right there if you can't see it. I was shocked to, to know that these are rather easy to hit pan on. So it gives me hope again that this is going to look more used and abused in the future because I really do enjoy it and I feel like I can pull this out in the fall time as well and enjoy it. It's not necessarily a bright bold palette. It's something that I will get more use out of. So I'm happy that this has been shown love even though it is one of my newer palettes which probably has my other palettes crying that are older that have not been used as much. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is all the pan that I have for you guys today. It's very exciting. I'm going to put on the screen how many pans I've hit at this point and when I've started this journey. Um, my goal is to try to hit 101 pans at some point or another. I do not have a time frame goal because I'm just using and abusing my makeup and some things are intentionally being panned and some things I'm just naturally panning and I hit the shiny bottom at it. So I'm very excited because if you would have met me a few years ago, I would have had my makeup looking pristine and brand new at all times without it looking dirty and used and abused. And now I sing a different tune and I'm very happy because uh, my makeup looks used, my makeup looks loved and I am loving it. And that's the fun part of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll do these here every few months whenever I can rack up as many pans as I possibly can. So there's not necessarily a time frame when I'm going to upload the next one, but I'll leave the playlist on the screen for you guys. If you want to go check out the other ones that I have, thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, adios.